Welcome into the world of HTML. 3. Boot up your computer. Windows sign in dialog. 2. Grab some comfort food. 1. And let's go. Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with another video in the HTML series. Yes, it has been around a month since I've posted, but I'm sorry. First of all, I apologize, but I hope, hopefully I will be forgiven when you guys see what I've been working on. But yes, I am back with a brand new video. Hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much over that long break. So today's video will be part three, I think, of the HTML series. And in today's video, we will be discussing the meta tag. But before we get into it, please be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Also, you should know that the transcript for this video will be provided on my website and the link to my website and to the transcript for this video will be down below in the description so you guys can go and check that out. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Let's get right into it. Now, right before we get into the meta tags, let's do a little bit of a recap. As I might have said before, an HTML document consists of two sections. These are the head section and the body section. As I said in the first video, the head section contains all the meta information about the page. The head section is also where any information about the styling of your web page will be located. But we'll get into that in another video. So none of the information within your head tag is actually displayed on the website. The body section of your HTML file is the actual front end of your website. This means that it houses all the information that will be displayed on your website. This is why in the last video I said that the head tag and the body tag are on the same level as they are both nested within the HTML tag. Okay, so before we get any deeper into this video, let's go back to that folder that we had created for a website in the last video. So I saved it on my desktop. So I would go to my desktop. Folder view. Then I would navigate to the folder. Web series list item. Then I would open it. Web series window. Tree view. Items view list. Index.html not selected one of one. All right, so there's our index.html file from the last time that we have been working on. So we'd press our down arrow to make sure that it's selected. Selected. Then you'd press your applications key. Context menu. Then press your H to jump to open with. Google Chrome G. Then you will down arrow to notepad and press enter. Or you can just press N, which is my quick key for it. N. Web series index.html dash notepad. Text editor edit multi line less doc type HT. Awesome. Now let me turn on my reporting of line indentations. Then I would actually read what we had in this file from last time, just to refresh your memory. Less doc type HTML greater than. Less HTML lang equals quote and quote greater than. Less head greater than. Two space less title greater than TQ test website less slash title greater than. No indent less slash head greater than. Less body greater than. 2 space less h1 greater than welcome to my website less slash h1 greater than less p greater than this is a test dot less slash p greater than no indent less slash body greater than less slash html greater than awesome so that is the document that we were working on since last time now as you can see right now in our head tag the only thing we have is a title so this is where we're about to add some meta tags Search engines like Google search for this meta tag in order to understand the information provided by the website. This is also helpful if the user searches for a specific website. Then the search engine's results page will display snippets related to that result that will display information relating to your website. It is typically used to specify character set, page description, keywords, the author of the document and viewport settings. Also, I must note that this meta tag does not come with a closing tag. So where do we put the content, you may ask? Now this is where attributes come in. And if you don't know what attributes are, then you have to go back to my last video, HTML part two. So the syntax for the meta tag is less meta attribute name equals quote value quote greater than. And let me go through it by character. Less M E T A space A. T T R I B U T E cap N A M E equals quote 
V A L U E quote greater than awesome now here are some possible attributes for the meta tag number one char set now this specifies the character encoding for the HTML document the value for this attribute is the character set now this is a set of character codes that are supported by HTML. A browser must know what char set to use to correctly display a web page. The HTML5 specification encourages web developers to use the UTF-8 character set. This is great because it covers almost all of the characters and symbols in the world. Number 2. Name This attribute is used to define the name of the property that we'll be using within the meta tag. The possible values include application dash name, author, description, keywords, and viewport. Number three, content. This specifies the value associated with the property stated within the name attribute. The value of this attribute would be text. The meta tag also supports the HTML global attributes, but we can get into those in another video. Now, let me demonstrate the use of the meta tag. Firstly, if we were to use the application-name property, now this value should only be used if your web page is an application. This test web page that we're working on right now will not be an app. But just in case your web page is going to be an app, here is the syntax. In this example, the name of the app is my app. Less meta name equals quote application dash name quote content equals quote my app quote greater than. Awesome. So let me go through it by character. Less M E T A space n a m e equals quote a p p l i c a t i o n dash n a m e quote space c o n t e n t equals quote cap m y space cap a p p quote greater than awesome now let's move on to the keywords property now these help tell search engines what the topic of the page is the meta keywords tag is still used by some search engines as part of their ranking process however major search engines such as google yahoo and bing no longer use it but other small ones do more attention is paid to the title and meta description tags. But in this competitive world, every little exposure you can get counts. When choosing keywords, it is important to only use words that describe your site. So let's go ahead and insert our meta keywords tag. So let's go back up to where we have our opening head tag. No indent less head greater than. Then down arrow, because remember we had the title in here. 2 space less title greater than TQ test website less slash title greater than. Awesome. So remember that the meta tag should be within the head tag. So since the title tag is already within the head tag, let's put our meta tag below it. So I'll go to the end of this line. Carriage return. Then press enter. Then remember that because it's within the head tag, I had started indenting by two spaces. So let's keep constant with that. So I'll put two spaces here. Space, space. Then we would start typing the meta tag. So less. Then meta. M E T A. Then space. Space. Now let's use the attribute called name. N A M E. Then we would put equals. Equals. Open quotes. Quote. Then we would put the value keywords. K E Y W O R D S. Then end quotes. Quote. Then we'll put a space. Space. Then put the attribute content. Because remember that that goes along with the name attribute. C O N T E N T. Then we would put equals. Equals. Then open quotes. Quote. Then here we would put some words relating to our website. So for example, for my website, I can put words like tutorial. T U T O R I A L. Then after each keyword, once you're going to put another keyword, you'd put a comma, comma and a space. Space. Then I can put how to. H O W space T O. Then a comma, comma. Then a space. Space. Then I can put accessibility. A C C E S S I B I L I T Y. Because you guys know that this is a tutorial, this is a how to video, and it's also about accessibility. All right. Then once you're finished typing in your keywords, you can end it with a quote. 
quote. Then you would always end your meta tag with the greater than sign. Greater than. So your line should read. Less meta name equals quote keywords quote content equals quote tutorial. How to accessibility quote greater than. Awesome. So that is it for the meta keywords tag. Now let's use the description property. A meta description provides a brief summary of your web page. A page's meta description tag is displayed as a part of the search snippet in a search engine's results page. It is meant to give the user an idea of the content that exists within the page and how it relates to their search query. A good meta description will attract users to click through and to visit your site. They ensure that search engines know what your content is about so they can display your website in the appropriate results. There is no real limit to meta descriptions, but Google normally shortens snippets to 150 or 160 characters. It is best to keep them as short and spicy as possible while still describing what your website is about. The best range to stick to is 50 to 160 characters. So remember that we were on less meta name equals quote key this line. So we will go to the end of this line. Carriage return. Then press enter to go into a new line. All right. Then remember, we'll keep consistent with the two spaces. So space, space. All right. Now let's put our meta description tag. So first, you'd start out by typing less m e t a. Then space, space. Then the name attribute n a m e equals equals quote quote then we'll put in this property description d e s c r i p t i o n then end quotes quote then a space space then the content attribute c o n t e n t equals equals open quotes quote then now let me give a brief description of my website i'm going to keep it short so i'm going to say Free HTML tutorials for NVDA. Caps lock on. Cap F. Caps lock off. R E E space H T M L space T U T O R I A L S space F O R space caps lock cap N cap V cap D cap A caps lock off. Then end the quotes. Quote. Then remember to always end your meta tag with a greater than sign. Greater than. So your line should read. Less meta name equals quote description quote content equals quote free HTML tutorials for NVDA quote greater than. Awesome. Now let's move on to the author property. Now this is used to define the author of a page. So if it is your website, you would just put your name right here. So to create that meta author tag, we'll go to the end of this line that we were on. Carriage return. Then press enter. Now remember that we're keeping consistent with the two spaces. So space space. Then we would start typing the meta tag. Less M E T A. Then space. Space. The name attribute. N A M E. Equals. Equals. Quote. Quote. Then author. A U T H O R. Quotes. Quote. Then space. Space. Then the content attribute. C O N T E N T. Then equals. Equals. Open quotes. Quote. Then I'll just put my name here. Caps lock. Cap T. Caps H E E. Space, caps lock, cap Q, caps U, I, N, N. Then close quotes. Quote. Then remember to always end it with the greater than sign. Greater than. So your line should read. Less meta name equals quote author quote content equals quote the quin quote greater than. Awesome. So now we're moving on to the viewport property. So the viewport now is the user's visible area of a web page. It varies with the device. That means that it will be smaller on a mobile phone than on a computer screen. Adding this element is great, especially if you don't want to make a separate mobile design for your website. Basically it makes your website look good on all devices. Alright, so let's see how this viewport tag works now. So go to the end of this line that we were currently on. Carriage return. Then press enter. Then remember we'll keep consistent with two spaces. S space. Then type what I'm typing now and then I will explain it later. Less M E T A space n a m e equals quote v i e w p o r t quote space c o n t e n t equals quote w i d t h equals d e v i c e dash w i d t h comma space i n i t i a l dash s c a l e equals one dot zero quote 
greater than. So your line should read. Less meta name equals quote viewport quote content equals quote width equals device dash width initial dash scale equals 1.0 quote greater than. So you should include this viewport meta tag in all of your website pages. This gives the browser instructions on how to control the page's dimensions and scaling. The width equal device dash width part sets the width of the page to follow the width of the device's screen. And of course, this will vary depending on the device. The next part is the initial dash scale equals 1.0. Now this sets the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser. Awesome, so that is it for the viewport tag. Now let's move on to our last tag which we'll be using is the character set. So we'll go to the end of this line that we were on. Carriage return. Then we'll press enter. Then we'll stay consistent with two spaces. Sp space. Now remember that this meta char set tag didn't come with a name and content attribute. The name char set is the actual name of the attribute. So we'll start typing the meta tag. Less. M. E. T. A. Then space. Space. Then. C. H. A. R. S. E. T. Then. Equals. Open quotes. Quote. Then remember that I said the standard for HTML5 is actually the UTF-8 character encoding. Caps lock on. So? Cap U. Cap T. Cap F. Dash. 8. Caps lock off. Then close your quotes. Quote. Then close the meta tag with the greater than sign. Greater than. So your line should read. Less meta char set equals quote UTF-8 quote greater than. Awesome. So that is it for the meta tags. Now let me read over everything so you can hear what I have. No indent less doc type HTML greater than. Less HTML lang equals quote and quote greater than. Less head greater than. Two space less title greater than TQ test website less slash title greater than. Less meta name equals quote keywords quote content equals quote tutorial. How to accessibility quote greater than. Less meta name equals quote description quote content equals quote free HTML tutorials for NVDA quote greater than. Less meta name equals quote author quote content equals quote the quin quote greater than. Less meta name equals quote viewport quote content equals quote width equals device dash width initial dash scale equals 1.0 quote greater than less meta char set equals quote utf dash 8 quote greater than no indent less slash head greater than less body greater than two space less h1 greater than welcome to my website less slash h1 greater than less p greater than this is a test dot less slash p greater than no indent less slash body greater than less slash html greater than Awesome. So that is it for this video, guys. Meta tags. And before the video closes, please remember to save your document with Ctrl plus S and then you can close it. Awesome. So that is it for meta tags, guys. I know you might not think they're extremely important because they're not actually displayed on your website, but trust me, they can be of some importance to your website. I'll try my best to see how soon I can push out the next video, but trust me, guys, I have a lot in store for you so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video the link to the transcript will be down below in the description also remember that all of my videos and all of my resources are also on my website at your fingertips all in one place and you can also hire my services on there as well so thanks again for watching be sure to like the video if you love the content subscribe if you're new and i will see you next time news Breaking news, sources say that there's a big launch coming up. Sports Boys and Girls Champs is now in full swing. Which school will win? Weather I'm right here on site and... Oh my god, a cow just flew by! Informative Entertaining Turn it up! Full of vibes Woo! Instrumentals Technological Memory verse of the day Different cuisines, culture classics, a moment of meditation. Let's find that chill spot. Let's find that love zone. Stick around, it's coming soon.